to align all of our points. So if you look at the edges and the corners here of all these little lines and corners and triangles, you want them to look like they're connected, like it's one giant continuous line creating this mesh. So we're going to actually use our direct selection tool, which is the white arrow. That allows us to single click on objects and only select it by that one individual point. Um, before you're able to select any, all, any points, however, you need to unlock all of your layers. So go up to Object, Unlock All, and that's going to unlock all your layers. You can also individually lock and unlock it over here in the, um, your Layers palette, but that's annoying, and you probably want to do that. It just takes long, a long time. Okay, so you're going to zoom in. And you're going to find a cluster of lines that should be lined up, just like this one. What you're going to do, oops, we don't want to move our image. So that's the only layer that should remain locked, that bottom last image, which is your source image. So once you unlock all, make sure you relock your photo. All you're going to do is click, drag a lasso around the clump of uh, points that you want to line up. They will be selected like this. That little anchor point will be filled in solid square. If you look over here, those are white squares, which means they are not selected. Um, so you want all of the points to have a solid square. You're going to choose a, a line horizontal. And you're also going to choose a line vertical. Okay, so a line horizontal and a line vertical. And you can also manually move things so they line up just like I did there. Okay, let's do another one. Lasso around that clump of points, align horizontal, align vertical. Now they're on top of each other. Okay, same thing with this. Boop, boop. And then just keep moving your way through your Illustrator file. Now, something like this just is your anchor, your corner um, point of the stroke. So what we can do is Command A, let's select everything. We're going to go up to Window. I lied. We're going to click this button right here, Stroke. And you're just going to change your corner cap to rounded edge or beveled. Either one works. Um, cap is just like the end of a single line. And then you won't have that real pointy corner coming out um, of all your little clustered areas. So slowly just work your way through your document, zooming in, zooming out, making sure that things align where they need to align. There's nothing worse than getting into the next step and realizing that something needed to be nudged or moved or you had a hole somewhere. So keep doing this until all of your points are aligned and in line with each other, and then we'll move on to filling these triangles with color.